Hello YouTube, hello you wonderful people. Welcome back to Raj Raj Stories. This is Raj, your host. I hope you guys are doing absolutely great. Good morning. Today's video, our content is about the new Rhinox Navigator bag, which I have bought. Uh, I shouldn't say new because I bought it some like uh, five, six months back and I've been using uh, this on my couple of rides and in fact I have used it on some trails as well. And I want to you know, talk to you about uh, this bag, the price of it, uh, how this bag looks, you know, what are the different compartments you have in this bag, uh, how practical this is in our daily use, be it on highways or uh, be it on the trails and in fact you know sometimes use it in the city as well uh, you do not really need to carry the top boxes or anything i thought you know i'm going to make this video and bring it to you guys and if in case you're someone looking out to buy this product uh, maybe this video can help you taking the right decision should you really go for this bag or not uh, previously i've been using the guardian gaze uh, tank bag on uh, on my domino when i bought that when i was using the domino and um, ever since i moved on to the ktm adventure i was not finding uh, a ride back and uh, that really doesn't fit into the tank of the 390 adventure so that's kind of you know created a lot of inconvenience to me I'm actually waiting for uh, the right bag to purchase i was thinking about uh, gv or hapco backup but those are kind of you know having a bomb price so because of which uh, luckily uh, Rhinox has launched this one and I think they have particularly made this product for the 390 adventure so and at the right time I got this bag and I'm pretty pretty happy with it though there are a little bit of downsides uh, which I'm going to talk about in this video let me start off with you uh, how do we mount this uh, uh, bag on uh, the motorcycle then I will talk about the uh, inner part of it, you know, what compartments we have and what do we get with the uh, uh, with the bag. And then we'll talk about a little bit of pros and cons, what we see with this particular bag. Yeah, let's start off the video. So if in case you have not just subscribed to the channel uh, and landing upon this channel for the first time, I would request you to kindly subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you will get to know whenever a new video arrives on the channel. Right, so this is the pad which will go onto the tank. And uh, we are going to place the tank bag on top of this one. This has got the velcro as well. And you see this bit. So this is, okay, sorry. <laughs> okay, so this one will go on towards the head of your uh, tank. This will come onto the bottom of the tank. And this will go on either sides of uh, your uh, chassis. All right. And uh, this is the velcro what you have here. And on top of this, you're going to place your Rhinox Navigator tank bag. So as I was telling, okay, we're going to pull this strap from the front side of your headlamp. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pull like this. Yeah, you got the strap. You need to figure out how much you want to really tighten it up or loosen it up. You have these buckles here, so you're going to strap this. So that's it. Okay. Just make sure that you know you are not blocking your uh, fuel tank uh, lid. Okay, so I just for the demo purpose, I'm just doing it uh, normally. And the next thing is you have to use this a small, what do I say, a small buckle thing. See here, this one. So once your uh, this big, this part of the stuff is done, so you see you have the velcros at the bottom of the tank bag. You have all these. What you need to do is just place it as for your convenience. I mean, depending on you know how you really set up the bottom part, and uh, then uh, you have these bucklings also. Okay, so you just need to buckle it up. You have two at the front, two at the bottom. So you're going to do that, and uh, once you're done, this is how your setup looks. Okay, I hope you know you would have understood you know how to really mount uh, uh, the bag. Now let's talk about uh, the uh, bag itself. Uh, so this is the bag, uh, how it looks. It looks uh, quite tiny and uh, it, it it is uh, quite sturdy as well. Uh, yeah, the the material what's been used it's kind of a bit hard. So in that way, I think uh, it's a good way. Uh, you have the navigator uh, name written over here. You have the Rhinox label here. You have the Rhinox label here as well. Uh, it's a good combination of black on uh, black and the neon color, and you get these uh, molds as well. So as you can see here, you get some molds. 
so probably you can uh, you know put some st stuff also here i have provided you know that can accommodate the molds uh, bit here you have some uh, separations where you can you know put your documents or something like that and uh, you get what you have some one oh, let me help myself <laughs> so you get one this compartment you have one here i think you can place some two maybe for pens or something i'm not really sure how good that will be if i'm right or wrong you have one compartment here as well okay the zips are of uh, good quality uh, it's actually very smooth the play and all then what else uh, this is the inside bit what it looks like and uh, you get two compartments on the either sides you have uh, the compartments here as well on uh, on these sides uh, these are on the outer ones and two compartments in the inside you get these straps as well uh, so that you know when uh, you're traveling solo you can you know just take off uh, this tank bag uh, you can strap these uh, 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 back side and you can just wear it as a backpack and uh, you can move so this is a proper uh, waterproof uh, bag uh, so you don't really need to uh, cover up with uh, the any additional covers uh, what do you uh, also uh, though this is a waterproof you do get uh, two additional things what comes with the bag i will explain you both so this is the rain cover what you get uh, so that you know when if it is heavily raining uh, you can uh, cover this uh, bag with uh, this cover what you get from the rhinox uh, this comes in a black color and you have the rhinox written here and as well as uh, the navigator secondly you get this i'll just explain so what this is meant for is uh, you can keep all your stuff inside of this one okay and what you can do is you know you just need to wind it up like this and uh, close this and you can keep your stuff inside and if in case uh, you're not covering up your bag with uh, the rain cover what comes additionally with the bag don't really need to worry about it because your stuff will be safe once you are placing it inside this bag and uh, that's a cool feature what's uh, what's we, what's we getting here as you can see the bag is mostly uh, is a combination of black and neon color and you know that really gives a very good look to the bag overall and yes one more thing let me close this up and if in case you want to really expand your uh, storage of the bag so you can just expand this by unzipping the by unzipping and you have the additional storage here so i think that's a good thing this is a 15 liters uh, bag and um, and i think it's it's not as big as uh, uh, my gajan gear's uh, tank bag but i think uh, this still holds uh, quite a important stuff for me and uh, the most important part of this bag is you know it doesn't really shake when uh, you are on the go and especially in the trails i found this very very useful uh, the only problem is you know since i've lost the buckle on the uh, left side of uh, where you know i strap at the bottom uh, maybe i can you know drop a note to the rhinox team uh, if they can help uh, that will be much more helpful but otherwise uh, i need to really figure out what can be done uh, because you know sometimes it really just comes off and you know i have to get down and then uh, tighten it up so once you really place it very properly okay so even if you turn your uh, handlebar uh, it's not really going to cause any problems or uh, uncomfortness for you uh, when you even taking a tight turns uh, though i haven't put a properly uh, uh, mounted it for now just for the demo purpose i just mounted uh, to show you but otherwise uh, when you do it really properly uh, it's really not going to cause any inconvenience at all so to talk about uh, the uh, the overall experience with this uh, tank bag i think uh, it's been quite uh, quite great so far I haven't faced uh, any problems uh, at all uh, it is uh, very easy to use uh, it's lightweight uh, it's small in size so you able to carry it very easily uh, uh, and uh, it's not very big in capacity as i would have told but uh, you know it does it really store the important stuff what you need uh, for me you know the my drone my uh, uh, my camera my lenses uh, the gopro items those are the important stuff which i keep um, in this bag whenever i go for a ride and uh, that is really solving uh, my purpose for what i've been looking for and on the trails no i never found any uh, uncomfortness uh, with this bag on it really looks nice and it gives a very good look to the bike overall as well so i have bought this bag for uh, i think 4600 or something and uh, while i was uh, 
why I was looking out for the other options, there are other options available in the market like you know you have GV, Hepco Becker, uh, Viaterra, Gajan Gears. Uh, uh, so these are the options what's available in the market. In fact, there might be more uh, which I'm not able to call out uh, at the moment. But uh, look, GV and uh, Hepco Becker, they are good in the qualities and all but you know they do cost uh, uh, a lot though I use a lot of GV accessories or uh, the, uh, the stuff uh, products on my motorcycle uh, I'm really, really happy with the uh, 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 with the quality what they offer but so this is good absolutely good I would say uh, so far and uh, yet need to you know really uh, see uh, extensive usage uh, in uh, the rain that's where you know something which is missing but uh, other than that I, I think you know with the kind of uh, uh, the rain cover or the extra layer what uh, they are offering inside and all I think you know it should really not be bothering too much when you're riding in uh, the uh, heavy to uh, heavy rain and uh, maybe the only downside what I can talk about is you know I, I was as I was telling that you know I lost this uh, clip and in fact you know it's not uh, so user friendly also uh, uh, to put off uh, that clip maybe uh, what's been explained by uh, the store guy might be different or whatever it is but I think uh, they should Rhinox should really look at uh, a different way of uh, uh, buckling this up uh, on the either sides uh, below the tank so that you know it will be more easier and we're not losing the item and uh, it will I think it will make the product a much better one in the market well uh, I think uh, that's pretty much what uh, I wanted to speak about uh, this product and uh, I wanted to make a very quick video, a short one, not keeping too too longer and I, I hope that you know I try to cover as much details as possible in this uh, video. Do let me know what you think about this product and if in case you're someone using this product and uh, you feel something good, something bad about this product, something which I'm not able to cover up in this video put it in the comment section you know that might really help the others who are landing up on this video and if they are going through the comments they understand okay you know the, this is a, these are the good qualities here the bad pro qualities of the product and you know we can make this video as informative as possible and if in case you have any questions please drop it in the comment section or else you can also connect with me on my instagram handle my instagram handle is here and leave a like if in case you think that this video is really really useful for you guys in case you have not yet subscribed to the channel i would request you to kindly subscribe and hit the notification bell in the next video we're going to talk about uh, the long-term ownership review of the gv top box that's going to be the next video what we're going to talk live life keep traveling follow your passions signing off raj i'll see you again in the next one take care jai hind love you all